Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got one system from the user Chilimations in Discord, so a massive thank you to them for sending in this system. And their system is called the Sinu System, Lost in the Void of the Eyes. So this sounds, it sounds pretty interesting, so without further ado, I should already have it on here, so let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, subscribe, that's it. Uh, wait for it to load. Come on. Right, it should be near the bottom. There it is. Right. Let's see what this is all about. Ooh, taking time to load. That usually means it's going to be a big system. Right, wait. Okay, right. Again, there's not much stuff in the background. So this is like the end of the universe or something. Let's see. Right, so the star itself. Let's look onto that first. Right, so... Lost in the void of the eyes, this system holds a lonely civilization that doesn't know they are being watched. Okay, right. So, star itself. Definitely brighter than the sun there. Yeah, 3.43. Mass radius all bigger as well. Okay. So, we got a probe there. Corona probe. Okay. Right, so first of the planets, we got this object here. Zanio. It's a very strange as half of the crust... An attempt for the court is made of emerald. The way it got there is unknown. Well, I think emeralds form the same way as diamonds, don't they? So it's highly compressed carbon. So I'm sure. I think emerald. Um, you know, they're all gem. They're all those sort of gemstones, aren't they? So, well, yeah, diamonds just hard, really, really hard and carbon, isn't it? So maybe, maybe that's the solution behind this. I mean, that's my little fear. It must be some sort of high compression possibly is how this uh, sort of worked but i mean that's just a theory so there we are okay next up we got bolo so there we are there okay bolo formed further out than its current orbit it used to be the most massive of the rocky planets but the amount of mass it gained started to send its spiral towards the star but was stopped by a massive collision near uh, with a planet near the same size as Bolo at the point in time. Bolo survived the collision but almost lost all of its mass. It gained a Venetian atmosphere. Currently, Bolo has a fading Venus atmosphere. Okay, cool. So a world like Venus, but it's losing its atmosphere. So obviously, very Venus-like underneath. Okay, cool. Next up, we have got uh, Lupicura. Shortly after its formation, an object one third of the size of it slammed into it. It now has a stripe of water bulging out from the equator. So that is this one here. Ooh. Oh, I do quite like that. Oh, wow. Okay. That's quite cool, actually. With the water all being in the equator there. That's a cool design. I do like that. Uh, this has got a satellite. It's got one moon as well here. Okie dokie. Okay, next up we have got Vorbent. It's the youngest planet in the system. No one knows why and how it got there, but it's there. So here it is. It's a pretty genetic looking rocky world. Slight atmosphere on it as well. And it's also got two moons. So two asteroid moons there. And then a slightly large moon further out. Okay, cool. Okay, so next up we got uh, Lane C. The planet story is similar to uh, Lupicura, but after the collision, it span too fast and tore itself apart. It's now a scorched planet core of its own asteroid belt. Ooh, so where's that? So that's Lanessi. Uh, okay, ah, okay, here it is. And then that is the last of the reading. So the, the other objects don't have any description, so close that. Interesting stuff. Okay, let me just check the Steam page. Is there any more? It feels like it's been cut off, but no, that is everything. Okay. Right. Anyway, so let's continue. So we'll have to uh, check out the rest out on our own here. So we didn't check out... So we checked out Borbent, didn't we? So we didn't check out this one here. Phobopa. So this is an Earth-like planet, as we can see. Pretty nice-looking design on it as well. Probably the world of the civilization on it. Yep, there's the city lights. Okay. Check its stats out. Why not? So, yeah, pretty high stats there. Very, very high stats, actually. So, that's a good-looking world there. It's also got some probes around it. Yeah, definitely the uh, civilization object. It's also got a moon there. One moon and a second moon further out. Okay. 
So, anyway, that's all of the inner system. Now we're going past the asteroid belt, or the first asteroid belt. So we've got uh, Terai here. So a lone world with one moon here. And the Hatable moon as well, 24 degrees. Looking good there. That's enough the zone. Cool. Okay, so now we're taking a jump to the next planet, which is this one. Gazef. So a frozen world there. It's also got two moons there. And then a third, a third moon over here. Okay. Right, now we're taking another jump out. So we got Jonas. All the way down here. Alrighty. 13 degrees here, so quite warm for its distance. It's also got one moon as well, Jonas 1. So that's in the next asteroid belt. Right, so now we're going even further out to Curio. So the first of the gas giants. So as you can see, it's got a nice sort of a Jupiter-like big ring around it. Okay. And then moons, we've got one there. Second one here. And the third... Fourth moons and fifth moon. Okay. Right, so next up we're taking an even bigger jump to the next planet here. So uh, Despo over here. So a Saturn, very similar appearance to Saturn there. It's got the big rings. Definitely probably inspired by Saturn as well. Got a few moons around it too. Next up we got a Barry Center. So it looks like there's a Barry, Barry, uh, Barry Binary. <laughs> Um, system going on here. So we've got two ice giants by the looks of it. Each with their own set of moons too. Okay. And then we've got a turquoise looking one as well. More of a greener shade to it there. Also with one moon. Cool. And they've also got a ring around them in the barrier centre. That's pretty cool. So the ring is orbiting the barrier centre probably. The centre of gravity. Cool. Uh, next up we got another rocky world out here its own little rings and also one moon oh so let's check that out so four degrees as well so a bit of nice temperature going on here okay looking good okay now we're taking a big jump out to on chris over here the purple uh purple gas ice giant it's also got a big load of moons actually tilted on its side slightly so kind of got a uranus neptune sort of tilt going on here mixed between the two over there because never neptune also uranus is the one we all think of it's tilted but neptune's pretty tilted as well if you think about it if you look at it so here it is here satellite of unknown origin what is that all about space debris Interesting, okay, cool. So there are those guys around that moon, all those moons. Right, so now next object out, we've got Horta here. So a purple gas giant over here. Looking good. We've got Misp. That's got a, a moon of a moon, look. Hey. So we've got a moon of a moon. And a few more moons further out as well. Got a nice purple one there, pinky purple one. Okay, and then taking an even bigger jump to this next object out. Another rocky planet. Very, very small in size. What's 0.14 Earth race? It's not actually that, not that small. Quite low in mass though. So that's chilling all by itself in the depths here. With one moon in orbit. It's 44 AU, so we're further than Neptune distance from the star now. Okay, got a very unique set of rings going on there. Check that out. A lot of rings there. Cool. Okay, then next up we have got. That's a cool. Look out, actually, the, that is really cool. Maybe I have to make the fun out of that. The rings there look really cool. And then lastly, we got this object here. Another gas planet. Oh no, there's one more. Okay. I'm not even going to try and say the name of this one. But yeah, there we are. Okay, or Zekinex. <laughs> so I'd probably read that. So there we are. And that's also got its own set of moons as well. Lots of rings in this system. Lots of particles. But yeah, my, my, lay, my new PC is pretty beast. So, there we are. 
Yeah, it's got loads of rings. Actually, look at that. Check that out. A lot of, uh, a lot of action around here. Maybe there was a collision, explosion of some kind. I mean, there's a lot of debris there, so that's pretty cool. Okay, then take an even bigger jump out to the final object, Unknown Mothership. It's weird, this this object's been showing up in a lot of people's systems called the Mothership. Oh my god. So, it's always the same object as well. It's always this, I think that's the Arrival spacecraft object, isn't it? So it's, a lot of people use this as the Mothership. You know, It's, it's almost like there's a connection between multiple people's systems. It's, it's like a, there's a little uh, conspiracy theory of mine. Now, you see this in a lot of systems. Is it the same Mothership? <laughs> So what is all this all about? Unknown satellites. There's a lot of those all around this mothership. So that's a very strange uh, thing there. So that's obviously what what he said in the description was something's observing them. They don't know it's there being observed. It's definitely this thing here. And there we are. So that is it in the depths. Oh, what is that? Sinu B, second star. It's also got some objects. Okay, so it's in a binary with a red dwarf by the looks of it. Or a brown dwarf. And it's also got its own little set of... Um, planets as well check that out okay so a hidden little second little system on the far reaches of this simulation there you go so it's got a, a hot uh, hot planet there as well cool and that i believe that is everything for this system so let's go ahead and zoom out any further no that is everything cool i like that it's a shame the reading ended so quickly it looked like he um maybe he the set it didn't save properly because it looked like there definitely would have been more to read there and it just ended abruptly so it's kind of a shame but oh well if the creator's watching let us know in the comments if there was more that there should have been read and yeah maybe copy and paste it over into the comments maybe i mean if it, if there was anything but yeah I'm, I'm just looking at the steam page again yeah it just ends after it mentions um the last uh the last planet we checked out so yeah Maybe there must be more to it. I mean, I'm guessing it just didn't copy over, unfortunately. So, I mean, yeah, I have to let us know if there's any more reading we missed that wasn't on here. But, yeah, there we go. So, again, massive thank you to the creator of this system, Chili Mations, for sending this in. Yeah, I, quite, I, I liked it, I have to say. That was, that was cool. But, yeah, I've def it left more more to be desired in a way with the reading, I have to say. But, I mean, I think that's just um, just um, it not being copied over to Steam Workshop properly. I mean, I'm not sure. But, I mean, yeah, let us know down below in the comments if you're watching and then tell if, the, if, if there was more or not. I'd be interested to hear um, what you have to say on that. But, yeah, anyways, with that all said and done, guys, if you uh, like this video, make sure to press that like button. Let's see if we can go for 50 likes on today's video. And, yeah, if you did enjoy it, make sure to also press the subscribe button. It helps in journey to 30,000 subscribers as well, as it really helps the channel out a lot. And, yeah, it's going to look awesome once we get to 30. So, yeah, really appreciate all of your guys' support. And, yeah, let's uh, try and push hard for it. Try and get it, um, hopefully, within the next month or two. I mean, that would be absolutely great. So, yeah, really appreciate all your guys' support um, all the time as well. And, yeah, make sure you guys all stay safe out there. Have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>